Linux gives us simple, easy ways to create, manipulate, and link Linux programs. Like all good things, there's always the chance that we might use these powers for evil. Let's start by testing an important modern question. Do monkeys type valid Perl code? Perl is a concise, powerful programming language. You may have heard of the recent paint splatter versus Perl results. You might also be familiar with the infinite monkey theorem or the library of Babel. So far, every attempt to confirm the monkey Shakespeare hypothesis has produced a lot of nonsense text. But A sufficiently lubricated researcher may have this brilliant insight. I can't understand monkey typing. I can't understand Pearl. The monkeys must be typing Pearl programs. It just makes sense. However, even a brilliant insight needs testing. Unfortunately, the management of this facility turned down my urgent request for a lab full of monkeys. They also vetoed squirrels, giant spiders, enraged bobcats, and live squid. Maybe next year. So let's try to simulate an infinite monkey. We can start by looking at the output of slash dev slash urandom. Here, I linked four programs together using the pipe or vertical line character. The pipe sends the output of one program to the next program. The various parts of this command are, I use cat to dump stuff from dev urandom pseudo random number device. Then I pipe it to XXD to create a hex dump Finally, I inspect the hex dump with more. All the unprintable characters are displayed as dots. You'll notice that about half of the characters in a random stream are unprintable. Now, when an infinite monkey pounds on a keyboard, you usually get printable characters and broken keyboards, but pr printable characters. So I need to figure out a way to keep only the printable strings. A Google search for Linux extract printable strings suggests I try the strings program. If I substitute strings for XXD, I get this. In this result, all the selected random printable strings seem to be four or more bytes and each one's on its own line. So the default behavior of strings is a little not to my liking. I need to tune it. After banging my head against the man page for a while, my next try is this. The various parts of this command are, I use cat to dump stuff from dev urandom, then strings extracts the printable characters, strings dash w keeps the carriage returns and line feeds, the dash n1 option keeps all the printable strings, and the dash s nothing option tells strings to concatenate everything together. The output's starting to look like infinite monkey typing. So let's grab one or two lines. This time, I use the head program instead of cat. The head program grabs a select amount of stuff from the beginning of a stream. I also added the less than or input redirection character. It is used to change a program's input. So the redirection tells head to get its input from devu random. Then head dash C32 grabs the first 32 bytes of random stuff and then strings keeps the printable stuff. This line of Linux bash code is actually three linked Linux processes. I linked the devu random process, the head process, and the strings process together. 
the end result is a new customized process that does what I want. After I repeated this a few times, I found that 32 random bytes yields about 6 to 20 printable characters. And those printable characters don't seem to make any sense. <laughs> so they might be Perl. Let's save some and test it. This time I added the greater than redirection symbol. It is used to control a program's output. I used redirection to save the, the resulting random stuff into a file at slash temp slash monkey code. So now I just need to test the potential Perl code. The Perl dash C option checks the potential Perl code for errors. This time I didn't get a valid Perl program. Now you can see why I asked for a lab full of monkeys. Even experienced Perl programmers have trouble generating valid code on the first try. This might take a while. <laughs> or it might not. After just a couple of tries, I got this. So now that I had a program that would successfully write Perl for me, I automated it. You never know. <laughs> I might need a Perl program someday. And this is a heck of a lot easier than learning Perl, believe me. The download link for the finished program is in the video notes. The finished program looks like this. My CodeMonkey Linux program is a few lines of bash with a lot of comments. Running it looks like this. As you can see, when I run it, every so often, I get valid Perl program. So, the answer to the question, do monkeys type valid Perl programs, is frequently. My simulated infinite monkey program creates a valid, uh, approximately 12 character Perl program in about one in eight tries. Along the way, you might also have experienced how to link several Linux programs together to create a custom process that does what you want, how to redirect program input and program output, and maybe how to program in Bash. <laughs>